Welcome to the Simple Truth Hour. My name is Pastor Samuel Somua Asante, and we go into the Word of God, which teaches us, rebukes, and instructs us in the way of righteousness, so that the child of God will be perfect, truly furnished unto every good work. Our topic for today is Christ's heavenly ascension. In our case, keeps at John chapter 6, verse 62. What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? The Lord realized the disciples were memory when he talked about they eating his flesh to have life. The Lord said, if this was offensive to them, then what would they say and do when they saw him ascend into the heavens? Why will the ascension create a stir for the disciples? The ascension of Jesus is purely a supernatural and inexplainable, but a sure event that explains lots of truths for the Christian to be firmly established in his faith. The following is Luke's account in his second narrative of the acts of Jesus after his resurrection. Acts chapter 1, verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. A cloud received him out of their sight. The following are some of the significance of the ascension to the believer and unbeliever as well. The ascension defies the scientific law of gravity, and no man has died, resurrected, and ascended into heaven by Jesus. The ascension reveals there is a heaven somewhere. Jesus was seen by about 120 disciples who were ready to testify of what they had seen to the point of dying for their testimony. It meant it really occurred. There is a heaven, which is the habitation of God, the Father, the holy angels, and the spirits of our departed faithful Christians. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 20. Whether the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus, made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. We have a certain hope that makes us stand faithful for the tenets of our faith, even in very trying moments, for our master and law has evidently entered into heaven. His ascension into heaven also points to the fact that he will come back again. Acts 1, 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. After the Lord had ascended into the heavens, two men in white apparel stood in the midst of the bewildered disciples who were gazing into heaven and made the above statement to them. Jesus will come back and all men shall see him. This event is different from the rapture of the church. During the rapture, the Lord will appear in the skies and the Christians who are dead will be raised while those who are alive will be changed in a moment and join the Lord in the skies. His ascension tells every man who has not given his life over to Jesus to be aware that just as there is a heaven for all true believers, there is a hell for everyone who will not accept the Lord Jesus. There's a sure place where the spirit of sinners are tormented to the final judgment where hell and all sinners will be cast into the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. Now taught, the ascension is a fact and leaves us an indisputable hope for our faith. The ascension is a fact and leaves us an indisputable hope for our faith. Now further study, 1 Corinthians 4, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain 
will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Revelation 21, 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Amen. Dear brother, this is the truth of God's word. And I pray that the Holy Spirit shall enlighten your eyes to understand these things and align your life to be ready for the Lord as he comes in his time. We are in the last days and I pray for you that the Holy Spirit shall prepare your heart for the second coming of our Lord. May the Lord richly bless you and strengthen you to lead a life always ready for his appearing. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.